I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Switch news items for this video. The first one. When are we going to get a next gen Nintendo console beyond the Switch? What is Nintendo doing after the Nintendo Switch? Well, it looks like you're going to be waiting for a while. Nintendo's global president, Shantoru Furukawa, in the last financial briefing, he shed more light on how long we can expect to have the switch family of systems and this is what he says he talks about the price point too we want to maintain the value of our products and sell them at their current price point for as long as possible so we have no plans to reduce prices at this time it gets interesting because profitability can fluctuate depending on quantities produced in the future we're not estimating any specific decrease in costs. We want to improve profit profitability by increasing the number of units sold and selling the Nintendo Switch family of hardware for as long as possible. Couple things come to mind. First, Nintendo saying, if you're looking for a price drop this Black Friday or even next year, Black Friday, don't hold your breath. They plan on keeping the Switch at 300 bucks, the Switch Lite at 200 for a while, and this is typical Nintendo. Nintendo never drops their console prices. Bro, I remember when the Wii U was tanking. I mean, nobody was buying the Wii U. You would think Nintendo would do a price drop to increase interest, bro. The Wii U died at $300. <laughs> That's right. Nintendo never dropped the price of the Wii U. And expect the same thing with the Switch. Nintendo is not going to drop the price. And they plan on selling the Nintendo Switch family of hardware for as long as possible. I remember uh, when they were first advertising, promoting their next-gen system, the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo was saying that it's going to be a family of systems right now we got the mama and we got the baby the switch light where's the daddy where's the auntie cousin and nephew the rest of the switch lights nintendo's going to have different iterations of nintendo switch switch consoles for and they said for a long for as long as possible i don't think um because we had the wii we had the, th um, but before the Wii, we had the GameCube. Every generation, Nintendo comes out with a completely different um, type of hardware, where it's a different format, disc drive, cartridge, whatever. Uh, we had the GameCube, the Wii, Nintendo 64, etc. Nintendo saying with the Switch, expect to hear the Nintendo Switch name for a long time. And I don't blame them. The console selling good, milk it milk this switch cow and so we're more than likely going to get either it's going to be called a switch pro or switch 2 or switch excel i do think we're going to get a more powerful nintendo switch console as to how much more powerful nobody knows until nintendo officially spills the beans <coughs> i don't think we're getting anything 2020 when microsoft and Sony are going to be pushing hardware. Nintendo's going to remind us 
they have the system with the best software um, lineup on the market right now. The Nintendo Switch library is insane right now, bro. I'm struggling to try to finish Luigi's Mansion 3 before Pokemon comes out. By the way, Luigi's Mansion 3, my game of the year, bro. Best game this year, in my opinion. Um, and so, um, we're going to have different iterations of Nintendo Switch consoles for a while. And I think this is good for the consumer, too. Hopefully, all of the games will be compatible with each other. That they don't pull what Nintendo did last year with the um, new 3DS XL. There are like only like two games that were only compatible with the newer uh, model hardware. Hopefully, if they come out with a more powerful Switch, current Switch owners won't be left behind. The games might run at a lower frame rate, lower resolution, but everybody can play the same games where it's still... Uh, in the same um, infrastructure. And so, Nintendo's global president said two major things. No switch price point and no next generation Nintendo Switch system as far as, not Nintendo Switch system, no, no next gen Nintendo console um, beyond the Switch for a while, for a minute. And so we're going to get more powerful Nintendo Switches, but it's still going to be in the same Switch family more than likely still play the same games everybody will be happy next news item bro ski nintendo's global president he continued to talk in the same um investor meeting and there's already reporting on they plan on revising um 3ds games now um they're cons they're, now we get more detail on the balance between um remasters slash re uh, um remakes versus new games N he said nintendo's focus is on new games while they're still gonna be um porting old games their focus will be new ips which i think is perfect Nintendo has the best backlog in video game history. Ocarina of Time, so lit. Bro, I would take an Ocarina of Time remake slash remaster something. Just completely redo the game. Legendary, bro. Um, But we also want new games, and that's what's important. Nintendo's giving us both. Um, we can't just complain, oh, the Switch is just getting Wii U ports. Yes, we are getting Wii U ports. New Super Mario U. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best-selling game on the Switch right now. A Wii U port. But we're still getting that new fire. Oh, wrong thing. Fire? There's my fire. We're still getting that new fire, bro. Nintendo's still hitting us with brand new games. Luigi's Mansion 3. Is dope. Pokemon Sword and Shield is looking clean. We're going to talk about that um, towards the end of the video. And so, um, I think that's a great, great, great balance. Give us new and old. That's lit. What are some ports I would like to see? Some remakes? How about... I already said Ocarina of Time. Super Mario All-Star? Bro, Super Mario Brothers All-Star was lit when it came out on the Super Nintendo. That's the first time they like remade old games, the old versions of Mario games. Bro, in HD with brand new, completely new art style, I would take that. What else? The game that really, really, really needs to be remade, bro. Super Mario Sunshine. It's a crime. One of the greatest Mario games ever, bro. It had its flaws. Some of the stages had design flaws, but one of the best Mario games ever made, Super Mario Sunshine. All right, next news item. The Nintendo Switch Lite just came out a month or two ago, not even two months, I think, and it's already been hacked. That's right. Dudes, I've already hacked the, the Switch Lite, ha hacked the hardware where they could pretty much do whatever they want with it. All right. That's it with that. And the last news item for this video. The final Pokemon Sword Shield hype trailer before it launches 
has um, been revealed, officially revealed by the Pokemon Company. Game is looking dope, bro. Um, game drops on the 15th, and so this is the final launch trailer. Go check it out. I believe it's on uh, either Nintendo's Japanese website. I think that's where I got this from. But I'm also doing a giveaway, and like I've done before, we're going to be doing monthly giveaways based on whatever the big game for the month is. This month is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Two ways to enter. No, not two ways. You have to do both to enter. Subscribe right here on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. And at the end of November, I'll be giving away a copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield. Um, which, whichever game of your choice, you can choose which one you want. But you have to do both. And I'll announce the winner live in one of my, not live, but in one of my videos. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to, I didn't even put my glasses on score, bunny. <laughs> Stay up to date. All oh, things. <laughs> so, we out, bro. Yep, Score Bunny's gonna be my starter. Get at me, bro.